Hey y'all, this is Dan with DPS Breakdowns. Today we're going to study the slide by of 2018 world champion Zauerbach Sadokov. Before we get into the specific details of the technique, I want you to focus on two aspects of the slide by. The first is the overall goal of the move, which is to use effective tie ups to get around the opponent's elbow and end up behind him. The second is the angle change. For a slide by to work, you'll need to perform a quick pivot that causes you to go from a head-on angle where you and your opponent are facing each other to a parallel angle where you are behind your opponent and facing the same direction as him. Keep these two aspects in mind as you watch the slide by in action. So first up, we've got Jason Nolf. As you can see here, his opponent has that left arm collar tie and he's gonna use his own arm, Nolf's right arm, to throw his opponent's arm by gets around the elbow, gets his angle change. Here we've got Gadev from Russia. He's gonna transition to this body lock finish. But watch how he changes his angle here. Gets around the elbow. As his opponent goes to flee, he's gonna switch into this body lock for a big throw. Here's Jordan Oliver in the NCAA Finals a few years ago. Off the overtie, you can see again, getting around that elbow ends up behind. We've got Kadev again. This is in the 2016 Olympic Finals against Isan Yazdani. He's gonna maintain that control of the elbow, keeps working his way around, gets his two. Throws it by, you can see he clears that elbow, he's getting around, looking for that angle where he's behind his opponent. And here's Yazdani doing one of his own. Opponent has that collar tie, clears the elbow, gets around, changes his angle, finishes it. As we dig into the details of Sudoku's slide by, I want to cover five components to the movement. First is going to be the tie up. So a slide by is going to be most effective when your opponent has either a collar tie or an inside tie. On the same side your opponent has either of those, you're going to get what I call a crowbar tie and you're also going to grab a collar tie with your other arm. Second is going to be tricep control. So that crowbar tie is going to want to grip just above the opponent's elbow and you're going to raise your own elbow to effectively grab that uh, tricep control. Next is angle change. So you're going to want to perform a powerful pivot to generate power and this is also going to have the added benefit of loosening the opponent's collar tie or inside tie. Next it's going to be pulling the opponent's head and arm forward and the power is going to come from the hips through that pivot movement. Lastly, you'll want to maintain the angle and finish. So you'll trap the opponent's elbow with your collar tie arm as you move behind. If necessary, you'll perform a mat return to finish the movement. So one thing I also want to stress is that these are not necessarily the five steps to the movement. These are really the five components. Um, it's, the slide by is a, such a dynamic movement that some of these are really happening at the same time or they can happen in different orders depending on the technique. And we'll get into that as we as we look at specific examples. So let's dive right in. Per usual, let's run through the whole clip and then we'll slow it down. So here's Sudoku at the 2018 World Championships. And so I want to focus right now on the tie-up component. So you can see when this clip starts, Sudoku already has his left arm collar tie. And you can see how his opponent's using his left arm to start setting up his own inside tie. And this is, you can see it right there, that inside tie with the opponent's left arm. This is Sudoku's cue to go. So he does a slide by with his right arm. He's gonna get the crowbar, that crowbar tie I call it. I'm sure there's a, a better name for it. But he's gonna stick that right arm inside and the hand that you can kinda just see dangling right now is gonna be the hand that grabs that triceps control and performs a slide by movement. And you can see right here, he's gonna shift that tricep control, powerful pivot, angle change, throws the opponent's head and arm right by. And now he has that elbow trapped, his opponent's left elbow. So the opponent's not really able to square back up at this point. And Sudoku's gonna get the finish. So one more time. That tie up, as soon as he feels that inside tie, throws a crowbar tie in. Powerful angle change as he grips the tricep, throws him by. Next one's gonna be from that same match. 
this is gonna be a really clean and smooth finish. So this, this kind of illustrates a, a, a nice point here in that a slide by is often most effective when the opponent is either driving in or leaning heavily towards their hands. So their, their weight's kind of distributed forward. And so you can see that here right now, Sudokov has that right arm, that shallow underhook. And watch how he shifts. As he shifts, the opponent gets that inside tie. And Sudoku's gonna throw that crowbar tie in. And as soon as he gets it, he's going. So you can see how his opponent's starting to lean forward here. And it's gonna be like he's, it's like the opponent's falling through a trap door. That's what you want it to be, ideally. Um, where they really have that, they, they're falling forward and they don't ha really have anything to grab onto except the mat. And that's where the hands end up. Here. So the motion. Pivot, throws the elbow and head by. So it's a pull on that tricep control with the crowbar tie. Important that you're also pulling with the collar tie as well, so you're pulling on the head. And you're really just drawing your opponent forward as you change the angle here. And you can see how the opponent's left elbow here, Sudoku has gotten around it. And it's gonna be a really easy finish. The opponent's basically already done at this point. Just gonna kinda land on top. One last time. Next. Yet another successful slide by. So this clip, I like this one because it's got really good quality, the video quality. You can really see some good details here. So right now you can see the opponent has that inside tie with his left hand. And here you can really see how Sudokov grips that tricep control. And watch how he raises his elbow. So watch Sudokov's elbow, his right elbow. Right now, it's uh, relatively horizontal. And now he's gonna raise it up here. And that, what this is gonna do, first of all, it's gonna make it easier to grip the tricep. It's gonna, it does require a little bit of uh, shoulder mobility, but it makes the grip easier to get. Um, secondly, it's gonna really kind of disrupt the opponent's grip. It's gonna put some stress on the opponent's uh, wrist of either if they have a collar tie or the inside tie in this case. And it's gonna make that grip start slipping as Sudoku changes his angle. And as that grip slips, it's gonna be a lot easier to throw it by. So you can see as he changes his angle here, see how it's kind of bending that opponent's his wrist towards the right here? And that's gonna stress the wrist, it's gonna make it more difficult to hang on. Good angle change, throws it by. Again, watch that pivot with the hips, that's where the power comes from. It's not, the power's not really from the arms, it's more from the entire body, the core, and the hips. Think of like swinging a golf club or uh, swinging a baseball bat. That hip motion is really key. So the opponent's gonna be pretty stubborn on this one. This is, you'll run into this oftentimes against guys that are pretty experienced. They're not just gonna give it to you right away. So that's why the collar tie arm is key here. So uh, Sudoku's left arm is still gripping the head. You can't really see it here, but see how he's trapping the elbow. So the opponent wants to circle back in and square up and he can't do it because his elbow's stuck. Here, you can see there how Sudoku's, uh, Sudoku's left arm is still gripping the head, spinning around, opponent's still trying to circle with him, and eventually he's gonna get it. Here, so let's just see that one, one that clip one more time. Note that how he raises the elbow. Crowbar tie, raises the elbow, gets that nice grip. Continues to raise the elbow as he changes his angle, pulls the head and arm forward. Keeps the crook of the arm as he continues to spin for the back. And he gets the takedown. Another clean finish here. So again, Sudoku really likes going for these. Almost all the ones he goes for are off of his opponent's left arm inside tie here. So he doesn't, oftentimes I don't see him him do them from the opponent's collar tie, they're usually from the inside tie. So as soon as the opponent gets that inside tie, Sudoku's ready with his crowbar tie, arm comes in. And you can see here, he's, sometimes he gets the tricep control before he begins his pivot, and sometimes he gets it mid-pivot. And it just kind of depends on the situation. So this one, he's already starting to pivot, just that, that's right where he gets the grip, right here. 
you can see it gets the grip, but the pivot has already begun. You can see him raise his right elbow. Remember, that's gonna make the grip stronger. It's also gonna weaken his opponent's grip. Big pivot with the hips. That's where the power comes from. Boom. As Sudoku throws that arm by, he's often gonna reach for the opponent's far hip. So sometimes it'll be the opponent's far lat, sometimes it'll be the opponent's far hip, but he's reaching across in either scenario to control. And he gets the finish here. So again, as soon as he feels that inside tie, he gets the crowbar. Watch Zidokov's feet. Uses those feet to assist in the pivot. Goes from head on to parallel here. You can see the opponent's already falling. His elbow's trapped across his body. Really, really nice finish. Another clean finish here. So now the opponent has that inside tie with his forearm, that left arm. Can't really see it too well here, but you can see Sudoku's left arm collar tie that he always combines with this movement. Watch this pivot. So let's run through that a few times. Just look at, look at how Sudoku uses his head and his feet to really pivot his hips and get the power. A lot of power generated here. Throws it by, and right as he throws that arm by, as soon as he clears the elbow, he no longer needs to control the tricep, he reaches for the far hip with his right arm, right here. One last time. So by now you guys are starting to get the idea, some more of the same here. Just emphasizing some of the points we've already made. Left arm collar tie, right arm crowbar tie. You can see here the opponent's left hand looking for the inside tie. This is the cue. Crowbar comes in. Look at Zidokov's right elbow. Raises it all the way to the ceiling. Throws it by. You can see here he has got, still has that nice collar tie with his left arm. He's using his chest. So he's pulling the head into his chest to really keep his opponent's left elbow locked in place. The opponent, if you left a lot of room there, the opponent would be able to slip that elbow out and square up. So it's important that you really cinch that down. One more time. As soon as he gets that crowbar and it's time to go, big pivot, throws it by. So in this next one, Sudokov had five-time world and Olympic champion, Jordan Burroughs from the US. This was in the quarterfinals of the Worlds last year, highly anticipated matchup. Um, Zidokov ended up winning the whole tournament, so won this match, and this was one of the key sequences. So it's a little difficult to see the mechanics of the uh, slide by here, but look how stubborn Burroughs is. All the best guys will not go easily on this one. So let's see how, how much we can see. Uh, look at over here. So right there you can see Sudoku throws in that right underhook and it looks like Burroughs is able to slip out of it and I can I think you can kind of see Burroughs left hand here. I think he's going for a collar tie but really before he's even probably able to cinch that in Sudoku's going. So he's gonna throw that crowbar tie in. He's gonna grip the tricep. Big angle change and you can see how this forces Burroughs weight forward which is what you want. Remember, you want the person to fall through that trap door, really draw their weight forward. You can see Burroughs has to post his right hand on the mat, his right knee on the mat as well. Sudoku's already looking for that far hip. And Burroughs is gonna try to square back up. And he's not able to do it. And it's because of this elbow. You can see Sudoku has the collar tie, the side of the head still, and he's got Burroughs' left elbow trapped. It's pinching against his head. And in order to score up, he ha Burroughs has to get that left elbow to his to his left ribs um, to the other side of Zadokov, and he can't do it here. And Zadokov does a really good job of running with his legs to keep his angle. So let's see it again here. Burroughs is switching ties, goes for that collar tie as soon as he goes right here. Go, uh, Zadokov does his pivot. 
does a slide by. Burroughs looks to square up, and look how Sudoka follows him. Gets that far hip. Freeze his leg, gets the finish last time. We've got one more clip here. So really, all the same stuff we've been talking about. Uh, Sudoku's gonna start with his left arm collar tie, digging for the underhook on his right side. The opponent's gonna be pushing on Sudoku's right shoulder, and that's gonna set it up. So it kinda, it, he really combines it well with his game. So he likes the underhook on his right side when the opponents don't like that and they push away. They're gonna kinda grab that inside tie to that side. He's gonna be able to throw that crowbar grip in, grab the tricep, big pivot as he raises, as Sudoku raises his right elbow to the ceiling. See how he points his head away too as he pivots. So there's a lot of power in that movement. So let's just show that pivot a few times. You guys really get the idea. Maintains that collar tie, pulling forward with the collar tie as well. Really smooth. Last time. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys would like to support my channel, you can hit the like button below. You can also share this video with your training partners and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Lastly, you can support me through Patreon at the link below. Thanks for watching.